Which refrigerant gas technology is right for your requirement of cooling system for cold room, cold storage, freezer room or blast freezer? Through this video we will share about the various factors that are necessary to consider for choosing the right refrigerant gas for your requirement. A refrigerant gas is a medium in the refrigeration system of a heating and cooling refrigeration cycle that exchanges heat starting from one area to another area. After you finish seeing this video, you will be more informed and you will be able to take the right decision for your project and you would not be misled by many companies who in their own interest push the technology that they deal in. Let's first discuss the important aspects that we must consider before we choose the cooling technology. The most important aspects are 1. Size of project Small, medium, large or very big 2. Location of your project Urban or rural or municipal 3. Availability of skilled manpower for each technology depending on the area or region 4. Technology of existing plant 5. Product for storage or processing 6. Nature of plant Standalone or integrated 7. Power consumption Technological advantage Let's look at and understand each of these factors 1. Size of project of cold storage or cold room or food processing For small size or medium cold room or walk-in chiller and walk-in freezer or mini cold storage for up to 2000 MT of product storage, we suggest Freon system. These are easily installed and should be fully automatic refrigeration unit. For medium to large cold storage or frozen food storage from 2000 MT to 10,000 MT, we suggest ammonia based systems. However, before we decide, we must consider all the aspects that impact our selection. For large cold storage facilities, ammonia has become the refrigerant of choice because it produces the greatest net refrigerating effect and often the lowest BHP per ton of any industrial refrigerant. Although ammonia is considered to be toxic, its irritating odor will give early warning to personnel to evacuate an area where concentrations are high. It is also favored because of its energy efficiency having minimal impact on environment and have zero ozone depletion potential. For blast freezing of up to 10 ton of meat, fish, seafood, we suggest fully automatic Freon system. For blast freezing of more than 10 ton to 50 ton of meat and fish in a given plant, we suggest ammonia refrigeration systems. Location of your project Many urban and municipal locations have banned the use of ammonia-based refrigeration systems. So, irrespective of the size of the project, the only option left for refrigeration system is that of Freon-based. The banning of ammonia-based refrigeration system is because ammonia is a toxic gas and is considered unsafe to use, especially in dense population of cities and municipalities. Availability of skilled manpower this is another important factor which people ignore when deciding the type of refrigeration system they should consider. Many small places and regions in India have skilled manpower to handle these systems that have expertise in only one type of these systems. For example, cities or interior and rural places of Agra, Guntur, Raichur, Veraval, Bihar, West Bengal, Rajasthan and many interior places have technical manpower that are skilled only in ammonia systems. So, for these regions, it is important to consider this important aspect of skilled manpower. For these small and interior regions for cold storage projects of size 2000 MT and above, they should consider ammonia as a more preferred system. Technology of existing plant Many a times the customer has an existing ammonia or freon plant and the customer is considering to add more capacity. In such cases, it is quite natural that if the existing plant is ammonia or freon based, then there is already an availability of existing infrastructure which can be extended further and using the current technology becomes preferred choice. Nature of plant. Most of the plants are standalone, but many a times a lot of food processing have fully integrated projects like meat processing, 
poultry or chicken processing, seafood processing, food processing plants. These projects have multiple cooling requirements like blast freezing, ice making, food processing, cold storage, freezer rooms, cleaning and processing rooms, IQF, etc. The overall cooling requirements of these plants adds up to a big requirement for which it is ideal and we recommend to go for ammonia-based system. There are some regions though that have mastered the art of dividing these plants into two technologies. For example, in many seafood processing plants in Cochin, they use ammonia system for all the processing and freezing cooling requirements except freezer room. The freezer room's refrigeration systems are fully automatic and the ammonia system is manual. Power consumption. This aspect of power consumption plays a key role in the long-term success of customer business and should be very well understood. Each of the refrigerant technologies, that is ammonia and freon, have their own advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages that ammonia system has over the freon system is power consumption. Ammonia offers lower power consumption advantage as compared to Freon. At the same time, a well-designed Freon system can be more energy efficient with less power consumption than a poorly selected or designed ammonia unit. Further, you may also consider that a water-cooled Freon condensing system is about 20% to 25% more efficient than an air-cooled condensing unit system and fully automatic too. So, you have seen and understood these seven important aspects that are important to consider and decide the right technology for your cold storage or food processing requirement. For consultation of your project or more queries, visit our website www.bluecoldref.com or write to us at sales at bluecoldref.com. Thank you for watching.